This is Randolph from the Randolph Tape Blog coming to another edition of MLB Observations Week 18 of the 2022 season. I'm on the road again, different city, different baseball team this weekend. White Sox. I'm glad Aloy Menace is back, and, and so is Robert, and you're batting them two and three, but it would be much better if you had Aloy protecting Abreu batting fifth, and Robert bats third. The only positive of Robert batting second some days is that there's speed and there's not a lot of body. You know, if, if it's like Andrew Vaughn, he's not fast if he's second. But if you put Robert third, it kind of stretches the lineup. Vaughn, I'm glad he batted fifth because that's where you want him. Second's okay, but he's slow. And again, not a corner outfielder, but there's no room for him. And Pollock batting first, if Chuck Carr finds status correct, that he has his best numbers leading off. And right now with Tim Anderson hurt, I would roll the dice with him or Josh Harrison. I just wouldn't put Josh Harrison seventh or Leor Garcia seventh and then stop batting Makata second. He should be batting six through seven because then you get a guy like Sheets batting eighth and I'm just like I want a guy who's more of a slugger a little bit higher up and Grandal batting second is stupid he's supposed to be an offensive power hitting catcher and then Yor Garcia makes two many errors at shortstop stop playing him there I know Tim's hurt but and Danny Menick's hurt but play the Sosa guy come on Texas you got Simeon and Seager to bat in the middle lineup not to bat one and two then Jonah Hyman inexperienced young catcher is not a three hitter he should be lower in the lineup and then Matt Moore and Gary Richards, you got to use their innings as starters. You're not going anywhere. They're not going to help you as relievers. Royal, Michael A. Taylor has never been a good hitter. Why are you batting fifth or sixth? Hunter Dozier, stop playing him in the outfield. He's a first baseman defensively, but he can have he has moments at third base. He's not an outfielder. And this Prado dude is a first baseman also. But they have too many DH first base guys on this team, so they got to throw him in the outfield, which is fine as a rookie, just not Dozier. Luke Weaver, they got to take advantage of him and use him to start the world. So now that many great starting pitchers besides Bubik, Singer, and Grinky. And then Melendez, I saw him against the White Sox in Chicago. I saw him in Kansas City versus the Red Sox. And no matter if he's playing right field or left field, he doesn't know what he's doing. Bad routes to the ball, drops the ball, bobbles it. He does not know what he's doing. He's a bad first position player. And yeah, he cannot, catch. He cannot play the outfield. Maybe he can catch, I don't know. Red Sox. Fam is not a leadoff hitter. Two was a pretty good spot for him because Devers batting in the middle lineup is perfect. Devers batting second, the thing you did early in the year, is not where he belongs. Verdugo is not a cleanup hitter. That's either Bogart or Martinez. And Christian Royer, super utility man, you don't bat him six or seven. The Mets, Jeff McNeil, will be over this. He's not a five or six hitter. He's a contact hitter. Darren Ruff has no best play in the outfield. That's the only negative about trading J.D. Davis. Lee J.D. Davis can play four spots in the lineup, four spots in the field. Ruff is a first baseman DH. Canna, again. Not a leadoff hitter, not a center fielder. If you're not going to start Brandon Nimmo, you got yourself Tyler Naquit. You also have Starling Marte. Like, play one of those guys in center field, and then Lindor's on a two hitter. She bet in the middle of the lineup. Atlanta, wasting Colin McHugh's innings as a reliever, which is why you have to go out and Jake Odorizzi the starter. Acuna, again, glad he's playing right field. He's not a center fielder, perfect, but a not a leadoff hitter. Swanson, perfectly in the two spot with Albie's injury, fine. Freeman, third, finally. It's been consistent enough. Williams Contreras, he's had a great year, but he's not a five hitter. You got Ozuna and Rosario, you got enough guys to do that. And then they went back to having Swanson bat leadoff and Olsen bat second. And I'm like, dude, you had a perfect two and three. And then again, Contreras not a four hitter. Cub, yes, Rockville Take is not the world's greatest hitter, but he's a center fielder by trade and he's speedy, so he should bat leadoff. Contreras should be in the lineup, not second. And then Ian Ham spent the whole week batting second, third, fourth, sixth. He was perfectly fine in the three spot. Wisdom got the place for first base, but then they said, nah, we'll throw him back at third base. Nico Horner, if he's your answer in shortstop and you say goodbye to VR and Simmons, then why is he batting fifth and sixth? He's not a great offensive player. And then Morell, he's played second base, third base, shortstop, center field. He's played three infield spots at center field. Just moving this guy around, keep him consistently somewhere. Marlon, De La Cruz, but uh, they, they're young and experienced outfielders. They're not middle of the order hitters. That's when you make a mistake. But Garrett Cooper's second when he should be out in the lineup. And Roja... Is not a power hitter. He's not betting six. And Wendell's on a shortstop. We won't. This roster has a bunch of utility guys besides from Rojas that can play shortstop. Oriole. Now that Trey Mancini's gone, they're batting Rauschman second. He's an offense. He's a good offensive catcher as a rookie, but he's not a two hitter offensively. This Vivera dude, he's a rookie and they're DHing him when I'm like, yeah, you don't really DH a rookie, nor you bat him third. Mullins bat at eighth when he's been their leadoff hitter 99% of the time. Best player probably on this team. Makes no sense. Hey, he's not a six hitter. We've been over this. He's not a power guy. And they've been starting Voth as a starting pitcher, which is what I've been saying. Pirates. Reynolds is always, he's not a center fielder. This roster, before they released Marisnik, between him and Gamble and Greg Allen, that's three veterans. And they got all these other guys on this team that they've called up this year that have played all these young guys like Swaggerty and 
the few other dudes they call up this year, they have enough outfielders that, that the Pirates this year have run through that are natural born center fielders and I see them make great plays. Second is an okay spot because he's a contact guy, but three would be great for him. And then Ben Gamble, who we just mentioned, is a great defensive outfielder. He's not a DH and he's not a middle of the order hitter. He's a lower bottom order hitter. And this Maracano dude, an infielder playing the outfield, you got enough outfielders, you don't have to do that. And Van Meter's Oasis is a quad A utility guy when you're not going where you should play your young guys. And Will Crow, we want as a starting pitcher, wasting his innings in the bullpen. If he started as a starter this year and pitched well enough, they could have also flipped him like they did Quintana. Yadier Hernandez, you are a fourth outfielder before the season started. You're not a middle order hitter. No one's keep out Ruiz, the rookie catcher. This Menez, Menez dude, he's a first baseman by trade, but DH a first base recovered, so they're playing him in the outfield. But again, it's the only way for this guy to get in the lineup, and he finally is a big league, so that's good. I did like Robles, Cesar Hernandez, or Luis Garcia batting at the top, and Voight and Cruz batting in the middle lineup because that makes sense. Speed, contact, and then power. Voight, not batting second. Keep him batting where he was in the middle lineup. Phillies, again, Schwarber, Hoskins, our power guys, not one or two hitters. And there's Hall, he's a rookie. But they're DH him, and he's, and he's batting fourth. I wouldn't put a rookie's pressure to bat him fourth as a DH. Cleveland, the whole Ahmed Rosario batting second, and then a lose, and then Anderson Menes batting fifth. Swap that around. And Menes not a power hitter. Rosario's a good offensive shortstop. But again, he should be playing second base for his offensive game. And Menes' defensive game should be a shortstop. He's also an a leadoff hitter. And then Owen Miller, you're wasting a DH spot on him in first base when you have Josh Naylor, okay? Franimal's gone, so I guess they don't have a real DH, but that's fine. And then they lose a DH all this maneuvering. Astros, we don't have two. He's a perfect two-hitter, and they were batting Brantley second a lot this year. Then he got hurt, and Payne and other guys. But Yuli's not batting there. The dude's a power hitter, not a contact guy. Then you get the likes of Lemmy Diaz, super utility man. Maruto Dubon, super utility man. Jeremy Payne, the rookie shortstop. And Chaz McCormick or Jake Myers batting 5, 6, and 7. It's like, those are not middle-of-the-order hitters. You got Trey Mancini, you got Yuri Gurriel, you got Jordan Alvarez, you got Kyle Tucker and Alex Bregman. Those are your 3 through 7 guys. I do like when Peña and Diaz are batting 1 and 2. That makes sense. Again, stop throwing Elizabeth Diaz in the left field. You have enough outfielders. And then the Tigers. Victor Reyes, not a DH. Harold Castro's not a DH. He's not a first baseman either. Super utility man. And he's not a middle-of-the-order hitter. You get to play shortstop once. Cool. Willie Castro. Played second and third base. Cool, he played the infield, but he's not a right fielder. They have enough outfielders. Javi Baez, middle yard hitter, not a two guy. And Haas is not a cleanup hitter or an outfielder. Beat over this. Rays. Jalen Beeks pitching out of the bullpen when Yarborough. When they could both be starting, you don't have enough physical starting pitchers. Brandon Lau, leading off is not as bad as having Yanni Diaz or Choi batting leadoff, but Lau's perfect in the two spot, maybe even the three spot, to push Choi or Yanni to five spot. You chain the utility man, he even pitched, didn't get blowout. And then Paredes, the super utility man, is not a middle of the order hitter or a first baseman. I just mentioned they got multiple first basemen. They got Dave Peralta. Why? To get a corner outfield bat in middle lineup, not to bat first. And again, Yanni Diaz is not a one or two hitter. And this Rayleigh dude should not be DHing. Maybe you DH Diaz and you play someone else at third base. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Twins arise again, playing first base, DHing, playing second base. You're throwing a guy who's an all star player. Around. He's not even a leadoff hitter. He's a perfect two spot. Correa, you got to be middle lineup, not a two hitter. And Polanco, we already figured out five is the best spot. Don't just move them all around between two, three, and four. It's not, you know, he's a good offensive player, but not if you keep moving him. Then Nick Gordon, we own is not an outfielder, he's a shortstop, but he's also not a number five hitter. Buxton, glad he batted leadoff a few times, but then they're moving around and batting third. Just keep him in the one spot. DHing him, okay, cool, but he's a gold glove outfielder. And Miranda. Play him at first base and just let Arias play third base when Urshela doesn't, okay? And then Beckham, I'm glad he's back on the roster. He's not an outfielder or a first baseman. Blue Jays. Latimer Guerrero should not be batting second and Boba should not be batting fifth. And Yuri Guerrero should not be batting leadoff. Alejandro Kirk should not be batting third or DHing. You have Guerrero is batting cleanup when Hernandez was hurt. And Vlad's in the middle of the year and Boba Shed has been perfect at the top of the lineup. Not one, maybe two. And then Whit Merrifield, I'm glad you got him. But he's not a center fielder. You have Bradley Zimmer and Rymel Tapia, a natural-born center fielder, and Tiasco Hernandez. Even George Springer has more career innings in center field. That makes no sense. It really does not. Okay, and the Biggio, it is bad in the lineup. Fine, he plays first base. Fine, made him a super utility guy, but he's not a first baseman. Brewer, Colton Wong, batting him fifth. With Yelich batting leadoff is stupid. Yelich, Roddy Telez, and Hunter Renfro are your middle of the order lineup bats. Brissaro is not a middle of the order hitter, nor is he third baseman. He's a first baseman by trade. Red, Nick Stenzel doesn't give you anything offensively if he's batting six. One or two, eight and nine. Again, why is he playing center field? 
I got Almora Jr. and Jacob Fraley. What do they bring to the table? Speed and defense. Not corner outfield bat. Okay? And then Senzel, I saw him play third base once. Cool, they put him back in the infield, but that really doesn't help. Harold Farmer, they announced he's no longer be the everyday shortstop because they're going to let the young guy play every day. Cool, but then he still plays third base. He still de uh, played shortstop a few days, and he DH. Like, that's a backup. Stop playing him at third base when you have him to stop. And stop playing him at shortstop when he's a catcher by trade. He's not a million hitter either. Solano, another utility man. He's not a DH. He's not a number five hitter. Stop batting him in the lineup. Cardinal, I'm guessing Dylan Carlson and going forward as a center fielder. I don't agree with that, nor do I think he's the lead off hitter because Edmund's been perfect in that spot. He should be batting second. Don't want to see Dickerson batting last because you got him to be a DH. And then this whole Jordan Hicks going from starter to closer to reliever to starter to closer. I don't know what they're doing with this guy. They don't have enough pitching in the rotation. Yankee, Deej LeMay was a perfect two-hitter, but they don't have a leadoff hitter. So I thought with Benatini, he would bat right behind LeMay. Nope. Judge is still batting second someday. Benatini was batting third one day, and then he's batting sixth. You got Judge, a healthy Stanton when he comes back, and Josh Donaldson, and Anthony Rizzo, and Glaber Torres. Those are guys who be in the middle of the lineup, not Benatini. As Andrew Carvalho, we've been over this. He's not a short type. He's a catcher by trade. Jordan Nick should not be playing left field. Only time he should not be playing left field is with if Harrison Bader, who's injured right now, or the Castro start. But if Aaron Judge is playing center field, it's stupid. Mario Gonzalez, I'm glad one day he played shortstop because it's an actual position. And then at Duhar, with the injury to Matt Carpenter, they'll just continue the trend of throwing an infielder in the outfield. Okay? Diamondbacks. Okay, Delmarte may be your best hitter. Maybe third is a good spot, but he's not a DH. They also lost the DH maneuvering, and Varsho will catch playing the outfield. is silly when you could do DH spot on him. Rockies. Iglesias never been the world's greatest hitter, so why you bat him second? And Rodgers also hasn't been the world's greatest hitter in the young career he's had. So don't bat him third or fourth. And then they DH some guy I never heard of eighth. That's not where you put a DH. Connor Joe, even though he's the first baseman playing the outfield, but at least they took him out of the leadoff spot. Randall Gritchick, again, not a center field, he's a corner guy. And then McMahon, why is he batting second? You got him in the middle of the lineup. And then Hampson, again, an infielder playing the outfield when you when you already have some center fielder. And Dawson Hillard. And then Gomber. He's supposed to be in this rotation, but why are you relieve, using him as a reliever? That's a waste. Dodgers. Trey Turner was perfectly lead us about Mookie Betts was hurt. But a two's fine, but Mookie Betts would be better suited in the lineup because no offense. Will Smith is not a cleanup hitter. He's a good offensive catcher. Chris Taylor's a super utility man. He's not a number five hitter. And Gavin Lux is a speed contact guy. He's not a six hitter. Bellinger is not a nine hitter. That's kind of disrespectful to him because he also doesn't give you that much value speed wise. And if he's not if you're not gonna have respect for him as a hitter, bat him ninth. What defensive value does he have as a center fielder when you have other guys who can play center field? It's where it makes no sense. It really does not. Okay? And then get and then they had pitching David Price out of the bullpen when his best value is a starting pitcher, because no offense to Anderson or Heaney, but he's not the they're not as good as David Price is. They lost the DH maneuver in Padres. Profar batting first, I'm tired of that. And him playing left field when he's an infielder, tired of that. But I, would, I was okay with it if you batted Cronenworth or Kim second. But you're batting Cronenworth five through seven and Kim around there when they're not power hitters. And Juan Soto stupidly batting second and playing right field when I thought with this trade, he's going to play left field. And Will Meyer's going to play some games in right field. They got Mazar and they got some other young outfielders on the 40 man roster. And he would bat third and Machado would bat cleanup. Nope. Then they throw Will Myers in center field. I'm like, you keep ruining this guy's career. Center field. Third base, like, what are you doing? And then Batten, utility man pitched. Mariners, Adam Frazier is a second baseman, not an outfielder. Haggerty, second baseman, not an outfielder. Jake Lamb, corner infielder, not an outfielder. Okay? Ty France is not a two hitter, he's a power hitter. JB Crawford's not a five through seven hitter. And Turtle's a power guy, but he's also a third baseman, not a second baseman. They lost to DH maneuvering. And Angel, Taylor Ward is not a leadoff hitter. Without Trout right now, you get rid of Upton this year. It's just Jared Walsh in the middle of the lineup. I think it would be helpful if Ward helped him out because he's not a one or two hitter. No, Tani should also be batting middle lineup, not two. And he pulls out a three hitter, nor a a five hitter. That's what happens when you put Ward and Otani at the top instead of the middle. And then again, DHing your backup catcher is pretty stupid. And then they finally took my advice, and Tuki Tusain actually started the game. I was like, good, get his value as a former top prospect and start him. You're not going anywhere. A's. Chad Pinder's not an outfielder, he's an infielder by trade, nor is he a DH or a five hitter. So your utility man, don't DH or bat fit. And then Loriano again, bad a second, cool. But again, not a cleanup hitter. Gogo Caliber center fielder is not a two hitter who's not been the world's greatest hitter, and he's not a right fielder. Andrew, again, Gogo Caliber shortstop, not a five or six hitter. Tony Kemp, not an outfielder, he's an infielder by trade, nor would you bat him sixth. He did play second base once, cool. Seth Brown's being guys you bat in the middle lineup, not a first baseman. If you put him just in left field like you, could do, you should have been doing all season, 
and you play Kemp or Pinter at first base or even at the infield and move some of the guys at the other spots, that would make more sense. Giants. Austin Slater is a good offensive player, but he's not a leadoff hitter, and he's a corner guy, not a center fielder. Yaz is a good player, but he's not a three or five hitter. He's a contact guy. And Lamont Way is not a DH or five hitter. He's a center fielder. Estrada game. Utility shortstop, not a five or six hitter. Brandon Crawford, gold glove shortstop, not a five hitter. Because what happened is Brandon Belt at second, which should be a middle lineup. That word makes no sense. Thanks for listening to another edition of MLB Observations for the 2022 season, week 18. For Honor Raider Table Log, I'm Raider. See you guys next time.